So apparently I got a weird story from you guys. This is coming from Chicago. Shout out to Shy Town, Shy Rack. If you guys are from Chicago, hit that like button, the Wind City. Now, apparently there's a heavily pregnant woman over there that fatally stabbed her boyfriend just after her. You know, the couples had a baby shower. We're like, well, what what the hell? You guys are celebrating the the the, the arrival of your child and you already deleted one of the family member? We already see some dysfunctional happening here. And you may ask, like, what was the cause of this? What 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 initiated? So they fought over trying to use a microwave to reheat their food and I'm like like come on, I seen dude, I seen people getting deleted. It it's been going around. Over cold fries, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. It's been happening a lot in fast food chain restaurants, but I've never seen it actually happen in a family household restaurant. So who in the world made the food, you may ask. Now, all discretion, I am going to be joking around and stuff like that, but it doesn't reflect the matter of rest in peace to the guy, Calvin Sidney, who passed away from the uh, from this, this, this altercation. He didn't deserve it. Um, hopefully he get justice for it. Um, it, we're already off to a bad start with the family and stuff like that. So you can only be, uh, you can only empathize for the situation, but dang, did somebody really put voodoo in that food for them to be carrying on like that? Who knows? Like some magical mystery Houdini. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But if you, <laughs> if you made prepared some food to actually have somebody do the crime for you, that's the perfect crime, I guess. Now. The pair had to return to their apartment early that morning with relatives after the celebration the night before. When they got into an argument about the use of the microwave, about 3 a.m., prosecutors said. Okay. The eight-month pregnant woman knocked the plate out of Sydney's hand, and he retaliated by shoving her on the counter, which he shouldn't do. I, I, I seen, you know... You know, when a lady is, you know, pregnant, especially seven, eight months in, her, all her emotions is uh, like, um, what's that word? Um, hormones is all over, out of the sink, out of whack. Your best, like I always tell guys, like your best, your best weapon is to run. <laughs> run, just run. Don't care. Like whatever happens, just run. You can always come back. But just at that point, when it comes to aggressiveness, and I don't promote it at all because at the end of the day, it's just like when you put your hands on somebody, something there's accidents can happen. You think somebody just because you punch a person that they are fine. Sometimes you hit them the wrong way, hit the temple region. They can just fatally be on the floor and stuff like that. So uh, just don't play around with like um, with your hands. You know, don't don't be the first person, be the last person to put your hands up. So. OK, so the eight month pregnant woman. OK, Sydney storm out of the bedroom where Golden allegedly stabbed him with stabbed him with a knife and left the apartment after dropping the weapon okay so she stabbed him and he ran away and she stabbed him in the femoral artery which i'm not really familiar i'm not a doctor here but i will put the definition down below now re was reportedly cut in the attack and he died at the um the, the hospital unfortunately and a few hours golden was arrested all right she said she didn't mean to delete anybody and she broke up about it. She didn't know um, you can actually delete somebody by stabbing in the leg. Now, I find this happening a lot. You know, I have a lot of peers, friends who is from the hood. And they do have stab. Like, I like, dude, how did you got that cut? Like, yeah, my girl stabbed me. My ex stabbed me. And stuff. Like, I'm like, ugh. I'm like, who? Why did you stay? <laughs> Some got married with them. Like, why did you stay? But when somebody goes to the extremes to do that towards you that's big red flags man get the hell out of there don't don't even stay back man because that type of um and just like how they say it, it was toxic for those two ellis added but they loved each other you can love somebody that's true but like it, it's not that it's not you don't belong to each other if you're causing harm to each other now they had several domestic disputes um they had like about five domestic violence calls from the month of june to september um, and I guess, you know, it might've been built up frustration that lead to this. Now you see the baby picture, the baby shower pictures. They both look a little, they smiling about, and they look a little, you know, they look, they look good. They look good. They smiling, but you know, you, who, who would know that they had such a violent, um, thing, a violent thing going on under the hood. Now she is in bail for $2 million. Um, you can only sympathize 
afford the child because this kid is already off to a rough start. You don't have, I, you know, when the kid is arriving to the earth, I believe you should have, uh, you know, the kid deserve to be, you know, nourished, be loved, be cared for, and just having a good time. Just, just, just promoting the whole, you know, healthy family thing. That's what the kid, the child deserves. Now, as far as her, as far as looking at her mugshot, I must say, my God, because at the end of the day, her eyes is dry as a desert at this point. Like there is like, bitch, do you have any tears in there? Like, I'm just looking at it and it's just like, she, this, this woman is ice cold. She got a smirk on her face and it kind it just annoys me. It just really annoys me because her hairstyle as well. I'm not, I'm not trying to discipline. Her hairstyle also annoys me because it looks like, like overgrown leaves that needs to be cut. And you just need to call Edward Scissorhands and remove that shit immediately. I, I, I'm not a fan of that kind of hairstyle. It's not for everybody, but uh, for her, that thing needs to go. But also it remind it like, it, it kind of put me in a funny place as well, because I don't know. It, it it seems like there's no empathy and it kind of scares me in today's society because I feel like in today's society, the value of human life is just at an all time low. And if you're tired of somebody, you can just easily take them out like a cockroach at this point with no empathy, no remorse. It's just plain out evil. And it just feels like sometimes the person could just walk away, have a nice shot, hot shower and have a good night. But apparently, I mean, she's sleeping behind bars and um, it's unfortunate you can only you can only feel empathize in the situation. But that's all I got, guys. If you do like the video, hit that like, share, subscribe. And always remember, keep hustling, making that money. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.